Today on CG Off-Road, we're going to make our 2018 F-150 a champ at towing with some help from Airlift. Our 2018 F-150 has a bit of a squat with just the weight from the spare tire that's in the bed of the truck, and it squats even more when we hook up a trailer, so today we're going to fix that by installing this Airlift air spring kit. This is Airlift's Ride Control Air Spring Kit, which is designed to fit your 2015-18 two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive F-150. It comes with a pair of adjustable air springs that secure to your truck's frame and leaf springs with heavy-duty steel brackets and the provided hardware. They can support up to 2,000 pounds to make your truck more level and stable and safer while towing. For more information and pricing on this air spring kit, click the link in the description. Tools you'll need for this installation, a lift or a jack and jack stands, 13 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket, 17 millimeter socket, an extension, 3 8 ratchet, 19 millimeter socket, half inch ratchet, a torque wrench, half inch wrench, 19 millimeter wrench, a pair of cutters, an adjustable wrench, some sort of cutting tool like a die grinder, and safety glasses. Okay, we're gonna start off this install by assembling the air spring. Grab your fitting and thread it into the top of the air spring. Get it hand tight. Then you're gonna do a turn and a half with a wrench. That's it. Do the same thing to the other spring. Then you can bolt the spring to the bottom bracket with the provided bolt. Get the bolt tightened by hand, but you don't need to fully torque this just yet. Do the same thing to the other bracket. And I just got a little bit more dirt to clean out before we can move on with installing these airbags. Just a little bit more. I'm trying to make it look presentable. So I think when you get this much dirt off of just one corner of the truck, that means you had a pretty good time. So we just got done cleaning up a bunch of the mud to try to make this a cleaner install for you guys. Now the first thing we're gonna do to the truck is remove this bump stop right here with a 13 millimeter socket. With the bump stop removed, you can see how there's a lip right here on the outside of the bump stop. We need to grind this down and make it nice and flush so it fits with the airlift bracket. You can use a cutoff wheel, a grinder, or whatever. We're gonna be using a die grinder to do this. Get it looking pretty much just like this. You want it nice and flush right here. And then once you get it nice and flush, hit it with some black paint so it doesn't rust. All right, we hit it with some black spray paint, got it nice and covered. This thing is good to go now. Next thing we're gonna do is put these U-bolts around the frame. We're gonna put them on from the inside of the frame to come out. We want them to be in between the frame and the brake lines because you do not wanna crush these brake lines. Just like that. Now we can install our upper bracket. They are side specific, so make sure you install the one that's marked L on the driver's side and the one marked R on the passenger side. We're now going to reinstall the factory bump stop that we trimmed flush right here. We're gonna install it with the provided bolt when you install this, make sure that the part you shave down is facing outward. Make sure you tighten it all the way against the frame. Before we go ahead and tighten these U-bolts, make sure once again that they're not pinching your brake lines. You don't want anything in between the frame and the U-bolt. Torque the U-bolts down to 14 newton meters or 10 foot-pounds. Then we can torque the bump stop bolt to 30 foot-pounds. Install the spring and lower bracket onto the leaf spring and get your air fitting through the upper bracket. Get it in a good position. And 
and secure it with the provided U-bolts. Install the washers and nuts just like on the top U-bolts. This part is pretty much impossible to show you, but we're going to install the lock washer with nut on the air fitting on top of the spring. Once you get the washer and nut onto the top of the bag, tighten it down. With the airbag in place, find a location where you want to put your airlines, then you can run the airlines. We're going to put ours in the rear bumper. We're going to mount our airlines in this compartment that's in our Honey Badger rear bumper, and we're going to run this line and connect it to the bag. Get the airline ran to your bag. Make sure you have a little bit of slack to account for movement in the suspension. Then make a nice straight cut on the line. To attach the airline to the bag, simply just push it into the fitting. If you need to remove the airline for any reason, pull on the very end of the fitting and push it in to compress it and pull the hose out. With your airline ran and connected, put about five PSI of air into the bag. Now that the bag has air in it, make sure the brackets are parallel with each other and everything looks good. Now you can tighten the bolt on the bottom of the spring. You only want to get this to about 15 foot-pounds. The U-bolts can also be tightened and torqued. The U-bolts get torqued to 15 foot-pounds. The top plastic nut on the airbag can now be tightened as well. You're either going to need an adjustable wrench or a 1 and 1 8 wrench. You don't need to make this too tight, just 4 foot-pounds will do. Okay, so we got our airlift ride control air spring kit installed on our 2018 F-150. It's going to help to get rid of the squat from the extra weight in the bed, and it's going to make this thing a champ at towing. Install really wasn't that bad. It should only take about one to two hours, and before you know it, you'll be heading off-road. Okay, so we have our truck outside, and we have it hooked up to our trailer, which isn't that heavy of a load. And as you can see, the truck has a serious rake going on. It's squatting really bad, so let me put some air in these bags and show you what they do. Okay, so as you can see, we got our airbags completely filled up with air, and there's still a little bit of a rake to this truck, but that's because it's lifted. It's way better than it was before, and the trailer is tilted up a little bit with a drop hitch. It would be absolutely perfect. So towing with these airbags is going to make this thing a whole lot better.